And we have Aam Aadmi Party's first reaction to this Snoop Gate alleged scam. Saurabh Bharadwaj says, involving the opposition in false cases is the work of losers. Our prize will bring more such false cases. He also says, country knows how Pegasus was used by the centre for snooping. So a uh, counter-attack there by Saurabh Bharadwaj. Let's listen in to what he said. देखिए अपने प्रतिद्वंदियों को झूठों केस में फंसाना जो है ये हारे हुए और डरे हुए लोगों का काम होता है अब जैसे जैसे आम आदमी पार्टी आगे बढ़ेगी इस तरीके के और केस जो है झूठे केस हम पे लगाए जाएंगे ये केस बिल्कुल झूठा है मुझे लगता है कि ये सिर्फ आम आदमी पार्टी और मनीष जी के पीछे पड़े हुए हैं अदानी जिन्होंने लाखों करोड़ों रुपए का गबन किया हजारों करोड़ रुपए का काला धन देश से बाहर भेजा गया फिर शेल कंपनीज के सहारे वो पैसा इनकी कंपनीज में इन्वेस्ट किया गया वो पोल सबके सामने है मगर केंद्र सरकार उसकी जांच नहीं कराना चाहती झूठे केसों के अंदर आम आदमी पार्टी को फंसाना चाहती है लेकिन जो आरोप लगाए गए एफ बी मामले में वो कहीं ना कहीं गंभीर आरोप है क्योंकि एफ बी फीडबैक यूनिट के जरिए जासूसी कराने का आरोप है देखिए जासूसी पेगसेस से केंद्र सरकार ने कैसे कराई ये सारा देश जानता है और गुजरात में किस तरीके की जासूसी मोदी जी के समय में होती थी वो सब लोग जानते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि एक बहुत ही बचकाना बेवकूफाना बात है कि जिस सरकार के पास टेलीकम्युनिकेशन नहीं है जिस कम्युनि सरकार के पास एसी भी नहीं है वो सरकार जासूसी करा रही है ऐसा कैसे संभव है Going across to my colleagues Anshul and Akash, who've been tracking this for the latest details. Going to you, uh, coming to you first, Anshul. Anshul, now this feedback unit is that an extra constitutional body, extra judicial body? What is the criminality associated with this unit, and what were the methods they've allegedly deployed against whom? Could you give us more perspective on this, please? So yes, this uh, feedback unit was constituted in the year 2016 itself. Now remember, after Arun Kejriwal came to the power, uh, he he ran a movement in which he said that if any sort of corruption is happening anywhere, uh, make make a video and uh, send it to send it to the Delhi government. So this is just a follow up uh, follow up to that. This feedback unit was actually built to make sure that any corruption that was happening inside the uh, Delhi government government's cabinets or inside the Delhi government offices. Uh, the, the main job of this feedback unit was to make sure that this corruption is reported to the uh, to the highest order so that uh, people could be brought to the books and corruption could be controlled this uh, this feedback unit uh, ran for approximately 6 to 7 months and the people uh, who were recruited in this were former intelligence officials is what we have been told and after 6 to 7 months this uh, feedback unit uh, wa was brought down now this uh, left uh, the cbi conducted a preliminary inquiry into this entire matter in which they asked the lieutenant governor that they should be allowed to register a case in this matter so that an in-depth investigation uh, could take place so that uh, it would be very very clear as to who were the people who the, who this uh, feedback unit actually uh, snooped upon and how did uh, and where did that data go because remember the data that might have been collected from this feedback unit what uh, uh, and what use did that uh, data come where where did that data go so these are some of the questions that the cbi wanted to inquire now the lieutenant governor had given them the permission and in fact had asked the mha Uh, to uh, to uh, give them permission to register a case in this entire matter against Manish Sodia, and now today the uh, Home Ministry has come out and agreed and has said that the CBI is able to register a case in this entire matter. So investigation, so that uh, entire investigation could take place. But yes, uh, the kind of allegations that have been uh, raised uh, by the BJP in this entire matter are definitely very very grave in nature because BJP leaders have constantly been saying that not only opposition BJP leaders but also. Uh, the former judges and media personalities were also snooped upon however there is no substantial mm. evidence to prove that that other people were also snooped upon or who were the people who were actually snooped upon there have been no names mm. that have come to the fore right now but yes this is definitely a shot in arm for the bjp because remember over the past 6 to 7 months we have seen the manner in which the bjp has continuously attacked the amadi party government uh, for uh, discrepancies in various uh, various schemes uh, ranging from the uh, from the uh, alleged liquor gate scam to the man in which the bjp has been uh, coming out and saying that there there are discrepancies in the m money that has been used to build classrooms 
uh, in government schools and now this so yes definitely this can definitely be seen as a shot in the arm for the mm -hmm. bjp and now they are going to uh, amp up the uh, pressure on manish sodia and, and the amadi party just to make sure that the uh, man in which the amadi party has been able to project itself as a cutter imandar party that image should be brought down at the earliest and this is the mo motive under which the delhi bjp is currently functioning and it will be very very interesting to see that once this investigation happens what are the findings of this uh, of the cbi investigation and who were the people who were actually snooped upon and how much truth is there that there were media personalities and other judges supreme court judges and high court judges who were snooped upon mm -hmm. so yes a very interesting the next few days are going to be very very interesting once the cbi register the case it remains to be seen how does the cbi go ahead with this investigation now well absolutely once the charge sheet is filed then they will have uh, the go ahead to go uh, uh, and prosecute uh, manish sisodia so big blow again to the aam aadmi party going across to my colleague akash as well who joins us on this broadcast akash as anshul was saying sustained attacks by the bjp on the aam aadmi party keeping a keen eye on any discrepancies the methods that were employed uh, to uh, monitor the workings of these politicians or these other personalities that the bjp is accusing the aam aadmi party there of will be paramount but uh, you know the aam aadmi party's time there uh, definitely absorbed in the sort of defenses they are they are having to give day in and day out a uh, false case or not uh, those sort of allegations counter allegations coming in from the aam aadmi party but definitely a big blow nonetheless exactly and uh, you know shilpa it is important to mention that we have seen a number of cases now in fact uh, in the excise policy case uh, and uh, you know then teachers training and a number of cases uh, the tug of war kind of situation between the lg office and the aam aadmi party government but in this case this is very important because uh, uh, you know just a few days back we have seen that how lg in his note mentioned this categorically that prime of si he is finding that uh, there was a violation of laid norms and not only the violation of laid norms but in fact this matter pertains to corruption you know it was very much mentioned in that particular note that even when manish sodia was heading the vigilance department under which this particular unit was created this proposal was moved by cm arvind kejriwal now you cannot move such a proposal without the approval of cabinet and cabinet was not taken in confidence and this is why this was a violation also as far as the snooping is concerned so you know as of now uh being a news channel we don't have concrete proof as to if snooping happened at all but uh, you know going with the preliminary inquiry and the note that we have accessed uh, of the lieutenant governor so it has been mentioned that uh, this agency was actually involved in snooping it was basically collecting data from the politicians from the bureaucrats and the the motive the primary motive of creating this particular unit was to take feedback from a uh, public from general public and uh, you know use it uh, in the vigilance department to crack down on the corruption cases uh, and and on officers who are involved in the corrupt practices however it was noticed by the investigating agency that not only the rules were violated but uh, this uh, particular unit was actually reporting to some private individuals some individuals who were very close to leaders of aam aadmi party so these were the allegations we have seen in the past that how bjp came out in public and said this was the only intention of aam aadmi party government because in 2015 aam aadmi party got a thumping majority and as anshul rightly pointed out during that time it was promoted that in case you are seeing some sort of violation in case someone is asking are you money for some work then you need to uh, you know just uh, a uh, record one video and send it to us and uh, at that point in time this unit was very important now when ministry of home affairs has basically given a note of registering a case uh, against a uh, deputy chief minister manish sisodia who is also uh, you know the head of a vigilance department it will be important to see and you know shilpa it is important to mention just a few uh, minutes back we were hearing the sound bite of saurabh bharadwaj where he is categorically saying that this is a fake case this is on the expected lines because this was very much expected in fact aam aadmi party has maintained this from day one in fact in the excise policy case that how these central agencies are being allegedly misused by the central government at this point in time it is important because on the 26th february we are learning that manish sisodia would be appearing before cbi central bureau of investigation uh, you know in a different case in the excise policy matter where he has been in fact named in the uh, first information report that has been registered by the investigating agency now you know after the approval from the ministry of home affairs cbi would be registering the case and you know they mm -hmm, would be mm -hmm. doing it as soon as 